Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, looking at some awesome well brewed lager. If you know me, you know by now that one of the styles I've come to adore a lot lately in the last few years is lagers. Uh, really well brewed lagers is something that just hits the spot for me. I'm not going to go as nuts as I do with the barrel aged imperial stouts and whatnot, but it's just a really nice drinking beer, and it's beer I really like to drink in session, especially the really well brewed ones uh, from Germany. I'm big into the German lagers uh, when we talk lager beers. So, funny enough, not too long ago, a friend of Tobias who's been on the channel and Brett contacted me. He's called Miguel, and Miguel was like, hey, Peter, I live in Bamberg. Uh, I know you've been there a few times. You like the beers down here. Do you want me to bring some beers back with me when I go back home? And I said, that'd be great. I'd love to get some fresh Rauchbier or some good Helles or Kellerbier. And he said, well, great. I'll figure something out. And then he got back to me and said he went to his local bottle shop called Die Biothek. It's a chain of stores all over Germany. This is the Die Biothek Bamberg. And talked to them and said, hey guys, this guy in Denmark, he does these great reviews and whatnot. Do you want to sponsor a box of great German beer for him? <laughs> and they did. And actually Enzo from the store went into his personal cellar and got out vintage bottles of Rauchbier from Schlinkala and other vintage box and stuff to put in the box as well, which is freaking awesome. So thanks a ton to Enzo as well for that. So this is cool. This is the, the, the uh, Mikkel came up back up here and he brought this box of beers for me. And there was lots of great, both modern German beers and classic German beers, lagers, Augbiers, some IPAs, some sours. And this is going to be fun to try a series of, of great German beers. So we're starting off with one I really wanted to try that I actually specifically asked him if he could get. Uh, which they had at Biotech. So thanks a ton to Mikkel, at Bu uh, Mikkel and uh, Biotech for this, and of course also Enzo for providing beer from his own cellar. So this, guys, is a beer I've heard numerous things about and never tried it. This is from uh, Privat Brauerie Sentner, and this is their Münchenbacher Lagerbier. So the reason why I know about this beer is because Lucas, who uh, manages Mikkler Bar Aarhus, is a big lager beer fan as well. And this is a beer he drinks all the time. He goes to, I think, Bamberg at least once a year or something like that, or Germany. And he always brings back crates of this stuff. And I see him drink it all the time. Uh, this is at least one of them. There's a couple he drinks. Uh, so I was like, I need to try that. And then I also looked it up online. And it's a, one of the highest rated, um, I guess you'd call it this, an ungespunded lager beer in the world. So most rating sites categorize this as like Hillis. And some categorize this as Zwickelbier or Landbier or Kellerbier. And one of the things that like these Landbier, Kellerbier, Zwickelbier, th those three styles kind of small variations on, on the different beer types. Uh, but usually it means like it's unfiltered beer. I've gone a bit into this in previous videos, unfiltered. It's often low in carbonation. Sometimes it's got more hopping. Like Kellerbier is a little bit more hopped than the others. But Ungespunded Lagerbier is a very traditional way of making Lagerbier in Franconia, where this brewery is based. They're based in Münchenbach in Franconia. And Ungespunded Beer is basically lagers without pressure on top, pretty much. So usually you have your pressure lock on your tanks, but this is fermented without the pressure. So you get a much lower carbonation. It still has carbonation, I can clearly see that, but it's a very soft carbonation compared to many other lagers, which is interesting because a lot of people associate lagers, especially the macro ones, with like hissy, fizzy carbonation. Well, in Germany, especially in Franconia, if you get an ungespunded beer, it's completely opposite of that. And actually also a lot of places in Bavaria, uh, you get a lot of Helles that's done in the same way. Uh, mainly also sometimes because of the way they pour, they do this kind of milk pour where you get all foam and it settles and then there's almost no carbonation. Uh, but that's how it goes. But this is the 5.5% lager beer, ungespunded, and this will be fun to try. It's, as I said, it's very highly acclaimed lager beer, and you can pretty much, it's a family-run brewery since 1938, uh, the, the brewery here, Sentna, and you can only pretty much buy the beers locally down there. I know in the boutique, but it's they've done a little bit of export, but it's quite hard to get, and you need to drink these fresh as well. Fresh lagers are great. So this is straight from the source. And as you can see, I poured straight to the top, it looks like. But I was trying to do for the pictures, like a proper pour. When you get a lager in Germany, often you get like this super nice pillowy rocky head that's outside of the glass. And I tried doing that for the pictures and now it settled while I was, well, talking and everything else. But looks looks great so still. So let's get into this one. Pour is a nice, lightly hazy golden yellow color. I see a little bit of yeast sediment sitting in the bottom of the glass there, but I mean, that looks great. It looks a bit more orange in camera, but with the light in front of me, yeah, it's a lightly golden orange. The head that was there was like this big when I poured it, and it was like frothy and white looking. And yeah, you can also see it's not like the crazy amount of carbonation, but let's check out the aroma. 
Oh, that smells really nice. Super bready, light, crisp maltiness. And the interesting thing is like it's like because it's also without the pressure, you're pretty sure that you'll flush out all like off flavors and whatnot during fermentation. Because there's like no trace of diacetyl, there's no trace of DMS or any of these things you often get in lagers. It's just like so clean smelling. And actually you get a little, a little bit of a brightness. Actually a lot of people don't talk too much about lager esters, but in lager beers and using uh, bottom fermenting yeast, that yeast also produces esters. It's just a different type of ester and it's not as uh, bright or bright intense. But there's like, like a bright estery sweet quality to it. Like maybe sweet pears or something like sweet apple character. And then just like super freshly caught, cut grass, elderflower, citrus. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I really started liking this style. It's There's so much going on when they're well brewed, but it's just more about subtlety and balance. And it just, I don't know, it's, it's going back to basics, but I really started thinking, this smells like a fucking killer lager. Ungespundet lager. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys, and thanks a ton to Biotech and Mikkel and Enzo for getting this one. Cheers. I need a crate of this right now. Oh, that is good. That is really good. It kind of drinks to me like a Kelabia. We have, I need to go review that. One of my other favorite Kelabias, we get that on tap locally, fresh from Germany, uh, served in Steins. It's from Sankey Walken Boy. It's got similar vibes to that beer. That beer might be a little bit more hoppy, but I think this is also on the last legs in terms of expiration date. Uh, Cause I think it says it expired February 18th. So when I get that there, I know it's super fresh, but this still got some great flavors. I'd love to try this fresh at the brewery. Mm. Soft carbonation, super slick, pillowy mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is great on this, like super soft. But if you're used to these hissy, fizzy lagers, this is just not it because it's ungespundet, fermented without pressure. So it's got that like low fizz. It's definitely there in the carbonation, but it's much lower than you're used to, which just offers a crazy drinkability. And then it's got the crispness you expect. It's got the sweet Pilsner malt flavor, like doughy breadiness, freshly baked bread or something, like even crackers or something. Super clean. There's a little bit, as I said, of esters from the lager yeast. Like again, this like sweet pear or sweet apple, and then freshly cut grass. Lots of floral, no super floral actually. Lots of elderflower and a nice singy lemon flavor to it as well. Bit of spice, not too much. Not as spicy as some other lagers, but it has a hint of like that, that, that black pepper or something like that. This is fucking great lager beer. It just drinks so nicely. It's it's kind of like, I can see why some people categorize it as a Hellas as well because it's not like super hoppy. Uh, it's definitely got some nice hop flavors, but it's not as hoppy as like some of the, the, the Pilsners of Germany, like the North German ones. But man, I think this is great. I can see why this is so highly acclaimed. This is one of the best lagers I've had in a long time. I really like the fruitiness, the ester, the esters on it. There's a lot of ester. I didn't expect that actually, but it's great. Mm. I think this is the longest review I've ever done of a lager, but man, I could drink this by the bucket. This is a straight 90. It's one of the best Kelabias I've ever had. Or Kelabias, Ungespundet Bias, the catch-all category of Ungespundet Kelabia Zwickel, Landbier, whatever people call it. But man, yeah, I dig this a lot. So I would urge you guys to try and get some. I don't know if you can get it outside of Bamba. I mean, you'd have to travel there maybe, but they do a bit of export, I know. So try and get yourself some Münchenbacher Lagerbier from Bau Eisentner. This is great. Ungespundet Lagerbier. So if you guys had a chance to try this one, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Biotech, Miguel and Enzo for helping get me some great German lagers. And I'm gonna say, uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And what's your favorite Kellerbier? Let me know. Or Ungespundet Bier. And I'm gonna say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.